X-rays carry a lot of energy. And these electromagnetic waves can ionize atoms. And that means that they can knock electrons out of an atom. And this can cause mutations mutations in living cells. Now, sometimes that means the living cell could just die because its blueprint, its DNA, has been damaged. Or it might start to replicate itself uncontrollably. And that can lead to cancer. Now, people who work with x-rays, such as hospital staff, radiographers, radiographers and hospital staff. Now, these are people who uh, routinely take x-ray photographs and um, CT scans, computerized tomography scans, which use x-rays to make images of the body. These type of workers should take precautions to minimize their exposure. Now, some examples of precautions include um, shielding themselves behind a lead screen. So we can say lead shielding. So that could be a screen or even an apron if they're not able to go behind a screen. And also wearing a, a film badge or a, a dose meter or a film badge. And this will measure the dose. I'll just put that here. That will measure the X-ray dose that they receive over a period of time. And they can control their exposure by um, keeping an eye on that film badge. So um, a little bit about X-rays, how they can ionize, and the precautions for people who work with X-rays um, so that they can minimize their exposure to this ionizing radiation.